Hey guys, Star Sky, and welcome to this week's DCO Community Feature Channel. Now, this week's feature channel is Revolution, but as you can see on the title, they've decided to go with DCO the Revolution. So, no wait, let's get started. Gotta say, this channel stands out. It looks nice. I like the flame and art to go with the Revolution. I like the styles. I'm assuming the styles from players in the league. I liking the look of the styles. It shows they've got some nice creative players. And by the looks of it, they've already got a decent amount of subs to get themselves started. They're at 210. I've already subs subscribed. And um, first piece of advice to them I see you've got Google, Facebook, get yourself Twitter. The more social media you have, the better you can uh, advertise your channel, the more people can follow you, you can let people know what's going on with your channel and updates and all this kind of stuff. Just generally, more social media, the better. But anyway, that, let's go to their recent activities and see how much of an uploader they are. Okay, so we have three days ago. Three days, six days, one week. One week, three weeks, going back in a month. So it shows that they're uploading, but not too regular. Um. If you really want your channel to progress and uh, offer more to the community and to your subscribers, you pretty much need to try and at least upload uh, more on a frequent basis. Um, like for example, for me I always try and upload one video a day. It constantly keeps people interested in the channel, there's content going on. I mean, you can upload like two videos in a day or three or whatever you want, but if you do like a a whole raid or something, you could split it up into separate segments and do like part ones, part twos. We're just trying to at least have some videos so you can offer because you've got videos going back from three weeks, that means there's no video for two weeks, and then there's, what, then there's a video, then there's like two on the same day, then there's one six days, then there's a break, and you've got two uploaded on six on them um, the same day. If you can, try and upload a bit more and at least try and make like one video like every couple of days or something just so it's more content for your viewers to watch but anyway let's go and take a look at the Nexus Solar Healer good intro different choice of music. It's always good to have a little bit of variety in it. Okay, so we've checked out that one. Nexus. No healer, five man raid, USPC. Solo troll. So by the looks of it, it's got quite a decent make. They got good time on the Epic Odyssey feet. Um, well, I mean on the speed feet. A solo trolling. Solar Healing, 5 man. Epic Odyssey Feet, 4 man Nexus. They do 2v2 PvP. Oops, so by the looks of it, they do quite a bit of everything, to be honest. And it shows that they've got quite a bit of quality and depth in their league as well. So that's good. Nice strong league. Okay, so. Yes. Thank you. So. Shows that he's got a strong league, good videos, just needs to get himself uh, Twitter and be a bit more of an active uploader, then you know this channel could go quite far. Okay, so let's look at his layout. We have guides and loadouts, PvP section, sorry, PvE section, a PvP section, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 man raids, videos on Nexus Reality, Paradox Wave videos. Popular uploads. Um, layout is a little bit. Um, what do you mean? Guides and loadouts, that's good. I mean, 
with your guides and loadouts you can you could pretty much get rid of that and you could have guides and loadouts for PvE content and you could have like multiple different um, you could have a playlist which is like multiple so then you could have like celestial content for like healer loadouts you could have like gadget playlist with a body of content in it and so forth same with your PvE you could have like PvP loadouts guides all this kind of stuff have user like a multiplayer playlist with um, all your various power powers in it. Um, I mean, yeah, it's good to have like a raid section, but if you've got like all of this three to seven man raid content, you pretty much don't need a separate playlist for uh, Nexus of Reality and Paradox alone. You could just like uh, pretty much or combine all three of these and have. Um, um, league uh, raid play, you know, playlists um, plus epic feats or something, pretty much containing all all of like your raid content if you want to have that in it. Layers is quite a good bit more. So you've got a whole playlist just for one layer. Maybe a few more layer um, videos would be quite good. If not, if you because five months between videos probably you could uh, remove this playlist and make way for something else I mean you pretty much could get rid of a few of these and you could separate them and have like you know your, like I said your PvE guys and loadouts and have some separate powers maybe if you want to separate them a bit more same with your PvP um, if you're if you're quite, if your raid leaks quite raid focused then you could have like you know some more raid content <laughs> I mean, I like the idea of it. It does seem like a nice channel. Let's have a look at some of its guys and loadouts. So we got Quantum, DPS, Assault of Style. Guides and loadouts, Exalted Style. Hmm. I mean, um, if you do a lot of style videos, you could have like a style playlist as well. Playhouse base items. See, you could have like this could go in your layer playlist. Mystical base, yeah, another one. This could go in your uh, layer playlist. Files. A lot of quantum stuff. Ice tank. So there's a lot of controller stuff. Gadgets. So pretty much if you like look for some gadget content, there's some stuff here, gadget trolls, gadget DPS, uh, some quantum stuff, ice tank, ice DPS. So it does offer um, a various array of content, but I would say the, the playlists just need a little bit of fine tuning just to make it a little bit easier for people to find exactly what they're looking for. But the ideas with the content is nice. Okay, quantum DPS. Let's look at quantum DPS one. nothing about quantum but it seems like it could do quite a bit of damage let's look at the ice DPS loadout Wait. but uh, I do one video when I have all my use it we clip this two Three frost knight again with a low health and we using palin guys again I show you hmm. 
Yeah. Overall, the channel does look good, so I would recommend coming and checking it out. Um, it's always nice to offer them some feedback if you have it, if you have it for them. Like I said, does I like the idea with the content. They offer quite a little bit of diversity to what they're doing with the PvP and mixed PvE all that kind of stuff. And they always tr they always seem like they're trying to challenge themselves to, you know, do a four or five month content when it comes to like Nexus and Paradox, which is nice to see. Always good to see people trying to challenge themselves. Um, like I said earlier on, get yourself Twitter. Um, playlists could do a little bit of sorting. Um, as like I said earlier on, with some advice towards it. Apart from that, I think this channel is really good. You know, I hope it does grow and do a lot and do quite well. I mean, it's got quite, it's got a nice little bit of subs already, so it's got a nice quite a bit of backing towards it. It's a good name as well. So yeah, you know. So guys, if you're watching this video, come check this channel out. Subscribe to them or give them support. Send them some messages if you have some feedback, any ideas for them that they could use, and um, help support the community. And you know, give them a good chance and come and give them some views. So yeah, nice channel. I hope it does well. And um, it's always a nice pleasure looking through these channels. Quite enjoy this. So thank you very much for watching this. And until next time, I'll see you then. Beware my power. Green Lantern's life.